Have you ever heard of the term compound interest? This is an extremely important thing to understand when learning about saving and spending money and has the potential to change your life. Hello everyone, Mr. D here welcoming you to episode 3 of my series on financial literacy. In this episode we are going to talk about compound interest and how it relates to saving money. Before we get started, take a second to smash the like button to help YouTube recommend this video to more people. Also, don't forget to subscribe to see more future videos. Let's get started. Interest in financial terms is an amount of money which is paid out at regular intervals. Usually when you open a savings account or borrow money, interest is applied to that account. The interest is usually calculated per year, but can be applied to the account in daily, weekly or monthly intervals. Interest can be applied in your favor, like when you are being paid interest from a bank or an investment, or it can be applied against you, like when you have to pay interest on a loan. Let's look at an example. Let's say you open a savings account, which gives you a simple interest rate of 1% per year. If you deposit $100 into that account and wait a whole year, you would be paid $1 in interest and the final balance of the account will be $101. Not a balance to write home about, but hey, it's more than you started with. On the other side of this, if you borrowed $100 from a bank at a simple interest rate of 1% per year, you would owe the bank an extra $1 by the end of the year. This is the idea of simple interest and is something you should understand before we start talking about compound interest. In the real world, we don't use simple interest, but compound interest. Compound interest is simple interest with a twist. Instead of just accruing interest on the amount owed, compound interest makes it possible to receive interest on the total balance. In other words, every cent in the amount is generating interest. It sounds hard, but it's a simple example should clear it up for you. Let's use the same example before where you have $100 in an account which is generating compound interest at a yearly rate of 1%. By the end of one year, you will have $101, but after two years, your balance will be $102.1. Where did that extra cent come from? That is interest on that extra $1 you made the previous year. This is a small amount from a small example, but trust me, Compound interest is a very powerful tool. The thing about compound interest is that over time it makes a massive difference. Let's add some more details to our example. If you got $100 for your birthday and you decide to save it in a savings account with 1% compound interest for 5 years, you will have $105.10 in that account and only $5.10 in interest. But what will happen if you keep on depositing money into that account every month? Let's say that after you deposit that $100, you started mowing lawns and saved an extra $10 every month. How much money would have been saved in 5 years? Well, if you receive no interest, you would have a total of $700, which is great. But thanks to compound interest, your balance will be $720.63. That is an extra $20.63 just for not spending that money. Pretty awesome, right? If you started out with no money and just deposited $10 into that same account for 5 years, your final balance would be $615.50, equaling $15.50 in interest. That is the beauty of compound interest, but it gets even better. As time goes by, the amount of money you receive in interest just keeps getting more and more and more, making it possible for you to earn a passive income from this interest if you start young enough. If you start working in high school and you save $50 every week for two years between the ages of 16 and 18, you would be saving around $200 per month. The principal amount after 5 years, or in other words, the amount of money you actually put into the account will be $4,800. The total balance with interest on the other hand will be $4,850.32. This is an extra $50.32 just for saving that money. It might not sound like a lot now, but for the sake of proving a point, 
if you were to continue this for 10 years, you would have a principal balance of $24,000 and a total balance of $25,251. That is a whopping $1,251 in interest. In short, the longer you leave your savings to grow, the faster it grows. It is worth noting that the interest rate offered at your bank will be different depending on which country you live in, and the rates can be less than 1% or a lot more than 1%. Always, always, always talk to your parents or guardians before trying to open a savings account. This video is purely for financial education and is not financial advice in any way, shape or form. In the next video, we will be talking about debt and how compound interest influences it, along with what can be considered smart debt. Before we say goodbye, I want you to tell me what you think about compound interest. Do you think it is a powerful tool? Do you think it's silly? Is it better to save money or should you spend money as soon as you get it? Let me know in the comments below. Alright everyone, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out and I will see you again next time.